Teachers here in southern Indiana are so concerned about this bill that they've been using their personal time off to make sure that there are teachers in the state capitol every day of the week making their voices heard. For the last week, teachers from all over the state have been making the journey to Indianapolis to talk one on one with state lawmakers regarding House Bill 1134. Lisa McIntyre is a teacher at Scribner Middle School and serves as president of the new Albany Floyd County Education Association. She's one of several local teachers to make the trip. I think they understand our angst. There were four or five of us sitting around a table and two or three of us were almost in tears as we were talking to Karen Engelman. Dubbed the Education Matters Bill, it would require districts to create a curriculum advisory panel made up of educators and parents to approve lesson plans. It would also require teachers to post their lesson plans for the entire year ahead of time to allow parents the chance to opt their children out of certain topics. It's ridiculous. It's redundant. First of all, we already have a school board that does all this. We don't need state legislators telling us uh, how to basically manage our classrooms. Mark Felix is a teacher and president of the Greater Clark County Schools Education Association. He's concerned about the burden this bill could put on teachers who are already stretched thin. They expect teachers to do all this on their own for no more money than we're making right now. They want us to spend our summers preparing this to have it ready in time for them to review it so they can approve it. McIntyre worries if passed, many teachers are going to choose to quit at a time when they are already short staffed. We're already having to cover when we don't have enough substitutes and we don't have enough instructional assistance at the elementary level. What are we going to do then? McIntyre plans to take her concerns back to the Capitol on Monday. Drew Gardner, WLKY News.